The images captured by the Hubble telescope have allowed astronomers to peek back in time, almost to the beginning of the universe. But imagine an Earth-based telescope that will be 15 times sharper. That's the goal of the European Extremely Large Telescope, or EELT. When completed, the giant eye will enable astronomers to learn about the galaxies that were formed after the Big Bang. The heart of the telescope will be made of specially designed mirrors arranged in a 137-foot array. Just like you would tile a bathroom wall with tiles, the idea is to tile the 42-meter aperture with mirror tiles. Each tile will be about 1.4 meters across. It will be hexagonal in shape. And the project requires 1,148 of these mirror tiles. These machines are grinding out prototype mirrors that could make it into the final array if they hit the requirements for accuracy. You try and get the imperfections in the optical surface lower than, than the physical limits require you to. As soon as you do that, then you've got what is effectively a perfect optical surface. To obtain that surface, engineers have built one of the most advanced optical testing facilities in the UK. We have the tower over the top of the polishing machine so that we can measure the parts in situ without having to take them off with the danger of damage, move them to a different place, uh, have to set up the whole test and then reverse the process in starting the next polishing run. All that testing and grinding is adding up. The EELT is expected to cost $1.4 billion. But the designers say it's a necessary cost if we want to continue to explore the heavens. Without a telescope or telescopes of this size, uh, 30 to 40 meters, um, within the next 10 to 15 years, um, it's feared that the age of discovery, which has happened really in the post-war years of the 20th century and now the 21st century, um, uh, will pretty much come to stagnation. Construction of the EELT is expected to start later this year. That's putting pressure on these engineers to move quickly while ensuring that their work goes smoothly. Rita Foley, The Associated Press.